Hey everyone, it's Ron from Fists of Rage Gaming here at Nuka Cola World. Um, and what I'd like to do today is just do a really quick video on um, how to find quite a bit of unopposed lead. Um, there's two locations you can go to very quickly, um, no matter where you are on the map. And the first is the Rusty Pick. Um, and the reason we're going there is because we want to get to the Charleston Fire Department. Um, it's a free fast travel. It's one of the nice places. So you'll just go to the exterior. And I know a lot of people make um, videos about getting lead, but I wanted to do one just showing unopposed. So that way you don't have to worry about fighting your way to it. And it gets you, you know, if you find yourself in a pinch, it gets you quite a bit of lead very quickly. Um, the first one we're going to, the Charleston Fire Department, it is pretty well known. Um, I'm on a private server right now, so I know that, you know, I know that it'll be there. But once you appear here, um, all you got to do is run down this hill. And one of the ways to tell if it's been already taken when you're on a regular server is these phones. These phones will usually be gone. Um, so if the phones are gone, chances are the lead will not be here. But you'll just make this quick left. You'll go in this room back here, and there will be lots of lead back here. All these weights. So you'll want to grab all these weights. Don't forget the big barbell on the wall. That's, that's one of the heavier ones. You'll see I'm already overweight, but that's okay. So we've taken it off from there. Don't forget the weights. It's just... And there's also three dumbbells behind the door. So that's how much you'll get out of there. You'll just run down the hall, quick shimmy to the left, and you'll have a scrap location right in here. So right away you're going to get 81 lead. So that's 81 lead, but nothing. Uh, completely, you know, unopposed. You don't have to fight anybody for it. The second location. Um, a little less known is down here in the monorail tower. So what I do is I leave my camp, um, my survival tent right outside of the right outside of the monorail elevator. So we will fast travel there real quick. Um, this one's a little less well known simply because there's not free spot right next to it to to fast travel to. Um, but what's nice about this location is if you have the excavator set, which you get pretty early in the uh, in the game, there is the mine just below the, the monorail tower that um, if you put on your excavator set, I mean, you can get 250, you know, somewhere between 250 and 300 lead. And that's in the, that's in the lucky hole mine. And that's, I mean, if you just want to go on a, on a hunt for lead for a while, that's where to go. Um, and once you refine it with the acid, you just, you have a ton of lead after that. Um, but this is nice because you're not refining lead ore. This is just straight lead. So all you have to do is run over here to the tower. You go up. Actually, this makes me kind of queasy sometimes because... You know, I think I'm going to fall off. So a lot of times I'll like crawl out here. <laughs> you know, I can do the crouch, but I'm too worried about it for the video. As long as you don't pay attention around you, it can actually make you a little squeamish. But all the leads are right up here. If you accidentally grab the, the concrete bags, it's not so bad. Now, what a lot of people don't realize there's one like hidden right here. You'll see there's no actual weight there, but I'm picking up a 25 pound weight. So make sure you try that little spot also, because it'll get you an extra, extra little bit of weight. The creepy part is going across this thing. Just don't look down. You have a couple more lead weights on the sides. All right, I'm overweight again. Woo! <laughs> sure seemed like I almost fell off. You know what's kind of fun is going back this way. And like kicking these balls off the side. You get to watch them fly down there. I know, kind of, kind of, kind of goofy, but 
There's a couple balls to kick. Then there's a there's a whole box of balls you can kick. They're like smaller. They look like bocce balls. Kick those and they'll all go flying down there. So a little cheap entertainment. That's all. And then we can just run out of here. Well, I can't run because I'm over encumbered, but. And we go to scrap, another 75 lead. So that was a quick, you know, add the 81 to that. That was a quick 156. Um, so 156 lead that quick. And like I said, the best part about it is unopposed. You know, you don't have to worry about having to fight anything for it. Um, but like I said, if you have the excavator set, um, you can simply run down here. And the way you get to it, it's kind of a pain, but you actually want to go um, straight that way in that direction. Because you want to go around the end of the mountain there because there is a road that goes up there. It's very difficult unless you have a jetpack to try and get up the face of this. Because um, the mine is actually right up there. Um, and you'll have some... Uh, I want to say there are some... Um, fanatics up there um, there are quite a few in the mine it's mostly mostly humans the only downside is you might have to fight some ants they can sometimes be a little bit of pain but like I said if you go down in there um, and hit that mine in your excavator set you'll grab about between 250 and 300 um, lead scrap which once you refine that again you get a lot a lot so um, that's it for the video for today I just wanted to make it short and sweet, um, just show you a very quick way to get 150 lead, in this case 156, and you saw it was like, boom, go down to the fire station, clean it out, um, fast travel up here, jump to the top of the tower, um, clean out that, bring it down, done. So um, I hope it's helpful, I hope it helped you out, and until next time, I'm Ron, and this is Fists of Rage Gaming.